Hi, Carl here for Pro-V TV. I'm joined once again by Greg from Sonnet. And we're looking today at this very nifty little device. What's this? This is our um, Thunderbolt 3 to dual display port adapter. Okay, so. And what it'll do is it'll support, um, it'll support up to two 4K displays off of one single Thunderbolt port at 60 hertz or right. one 5K display. Some of the 5K displays have two DisplayPort connectors, so you just plug them both into here and now you've got 5K support. I see, okay, nifty. Um, so what's the benefit of using a device like this rather than sort of more traditional ways of direct connecting monitors and stuff like that? Um, you want this if you've got two displays to connect. Okay. And whether they're 4K or 1080p or 14.4 or whatever you particularly have, um, because you're taking up the least number of Thunderbolt ports, and some computers there aren't even that many ports available. Yeah. Um, and and you're still supporting two 4K displays off of that one port. The alternative, you know, you can you certainly can easily connect a Display Port um, with a Type C connector or uh, or HDMI to Type C adapter directly connected to the to the computer like a MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get one 4K display, no need for this adapter. But if you want to go to two displays, this is the most effective way because after all, each of those ports, you know, is a highly valuable real estate and you yeah. don't want to be occupying two ports on a MacBook Pro uh, if you don't have to. Exactly. And if you've got two monitors, you're normally using both of them at the same time. So mm -hmm. just having the two monitors permanently going into one of these and then just the one little connector to plug into your thing just yeah. makes things a bit neater really doesn't yeah. it so out of the four macbook pro ports plug in occupy one with your two display support and, and then you've got all the rest of them free for your accessories your peripherals storage all sort of stuff, storage high speed devices and all that okay. and then we'll have another one coming shortly after that that's got dual hdmi or dual hdmi same thing right so this is two display ports mm -hmm. that one's going to be two hdmi ports mm -hmm. cool any more plans for any more types of connectors i mean there's not really much else you'd want to cover is there for those so nothing yeah. else that i nothing else that i can talk about cool one tip though that i would give you is that uh, wherever possible it's always best to plug your display connection directly into the computer port like in the MacBook Pro, you would plug this directly into one of the ports and not downstream in the daisy chain. You could do that, right. but as soon as you put it downstream in the daisy chain, now you're sharing bandwidth. Display, displays always get priority. Video gets yeah. priority over uh, data. Yeah. And so if you've got high bandwidth devices that may be wanting you know, some of that, um, a lot of that bandwidth, you're gonna- So for example, on my desk sitting in the other room, I've got an iMac with a Thunderbolt connection going into a card reader, going into a high-speed RAID storage, and then I've got a free display port on the back, sorry, Thunderbolt port on the back. It would be very easy to just plug this in to you, that. You can do it. And you can do that, but then you're sharing um, resources between the display, extra displays you're putting in and my high-speed storage. Yep. So you're saying direct connect this into that so that because how much around how much data does two 4K displays take up of the of the what's allocated for Thunderbolt? Like eight nine hundred megabytes per second. Yeah. So uh, why do it? You know, exactly. Because you get a, you get a free pass when you connect directly to the computer, even though that port is sharing Thunderbolt bandwidth with this other port. You know, on the MacBook Pro, there's two Thunderbolt controllers. Mm. So you've got really two buses of 2,750 megabytes per second. Mm. And then, you know, there are two other ports that share with each of those. And you could be using the same Thunderbolt port, but when you directly connect to the computer, it doesn't share, but um, it doesn't take away any bandwidth from the data. Mm. So then that other matching port, uh, sister port, you could call it, um, still has the full 2750 megabytes per second of bandwidth by virtue of you connecting this directly to the computer. Cool. Okay, really interesting stuff. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. If you want to know any more information about this, it's down in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.